working incubator, a dead stop incubator. For, we bring four patients each time. And um, they, they, they work in this isolated, the, the neonatal intensive care unit uh, uh, stations where the temperature and the CO2 is, is used and is conserved much better. So this is where the patient comes in. This is on one side of the clinic. The patient goes to a small uh, waiting room because the, the transition is quite, quite fast, but if you said. The patient walks in and there's a small uh, nursing station. You see the rooms, there are four rooms. And this is where they double check it's really a ID, the patient on the corner, because the partner is of course allowed <coughs> to enter the room. Most of the rooms are more or less the same. You have your, your scanner with abdominal um, scan. You have the, and as you can see, it's a small room. We don't need more than that, actually. Um, this is the place where they go. You can see the incubator at the bottom, the bench stop incubator, and the isolate. This is what we use, simple material, just the kit and the catheter. And this is what you do. You, you try to negotiate the, the internal loss. Why do you cross internal loss? You stop there. And then you call the embryologist. She's, she will be loading the. See, this is where they work in this uh, isolated this, um, places that were copied from the neonatal intensive care units. They usually have, as I said, 